Do you know those things you think you'll never need, but as soon as you get one, you feel really, really dumb? This is one of those things. A NAS. And I've been using it so much that it's almost a crime that I never bought one before. A NAS is basically a home server slash media player where you can store and access all your data and then access the data, of course, via, for example, your computer, your laptop, your mobile phone, your tablet. It is like having your own cloud server, but like here. That's why it isn't a cloud server, because <laughs> it's here. This model in particular is the Ugreen NAS DH4300+, selling at around $360, which might seem a bit expensive for some people, but believe me, for what it does, this is really good value. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the hardware, the disk base, inputs and outputs, and many other things like power draw, wired and wireless connections, and so on, so on, so on, like noise levels. The DH4300 Plus, as stated before, is a 4-bay NAS solution from Ugreen. And if we're talking about hardware, the value just skyrockets. You get a 2.4 GHz, 8-core ARM CPU, 8 GB of RAM, LPDDR4X, and a GPU powerful enough to output 8K. And with it being a 4-bay NAS solution, you can get up to 120 terabytes of storage. Meaning that you kind of have a mini computer that you can use for other things as well. And just for perspective, there are other brands, other competitors, that for around the same price, they will leave you with a quad-core CPU and 2 gigabytes of RAM. In the box, we have the NAS and the smaller box of accessories that brings the usual power cord, power adapter, Ethernet cable, and even a screwdriver to use with all those screws that come with it. Ugreen was also kind enough to send us four Seagate Iron Wolf 4 terabyte hard drives, totaling 16 terabytes of storage. Installing the hard drives was fairly easy. All we had to do was insert the hard drives into the bracket, screw them, and then insert them one by one in the slots, which was a really easy process to do that even a child could do it, or even a trained monkey, I guess. <laughs> In terms of design, we have vertical alignment with ventilation holes in the bottom for fan cooling and in the back of the magnetic top panel. The same magnetic top panel that comes off to give access to the drive base. The drive bays are made of plastic, which is expected in a value product like this one, but they bring a nice clamp mechanism with some rubber on the sides that it will dampen the sound levels a bit. And if the drives are vertically set, it means that the motherboard is at the base. As for inputs and outputs, we only have a USB 3.2 Type-C port in the front, alongside all the LED indicators and the power button, of course, and on the back we have an HDMI port, outputting up to 4K 60fps, which is a pretty good experience for media consumption, 2 times USB 3.2 Type-A, 1 time 2.5 gigabits Ethernet port, or Ethernet port, with up to 300 megabytes per second, the reset button, and the 12 volt spark connection. And I also have to say that if you don't really have an Ethernet connection close to your NAS, which is one of the things that actually bothered me, uh, because I didn't really want to have the, the NAS close to my computer, to my main computer, occupying space and so on, well, you can actually just use it with a wireless dongle, and it works. I mean, it is working right now, as you can see. This is the, the NAS app, and it's working, and it's working via a wireless dongle. I just had to connect the dongle to the NAS, and it just worked out of the box. Of course, that the speeds will not be as fast as the Ethernet ones. That will go up to 120 megabytes per second, sometimes even more. But well, it depends on your wireless dongle as well. If it is faster, it will be faster. If it is slower, it will be slower. But as you can see, I mean, let me just move it a bit. I'm using a wireless dongle via USB and it just works. Moving to the noise levels, I tested some scenarios. One with the system in full idle without any drives. The system in full idle, but with the four drives installed, which is basically the noise I hear all the time when close to it. And the system with the four drives writing data. In terms of power consumption, I wouldn't really care much about it. I mean, the power consumption is not that high even when accessing or writing to the disks. But if you want to really save the maximum power that you can get, you can simply turn it off and turn it back on again when you know that you're gonna need it. Or if you want to save even more power and have lower noise levels, you can always use SSDs instead of HDDs. In terms of software, you can access the DH4300 Plus via browser or by downloading Ugreen software. And I was blown away. And not exactly because of how innovative Ugreen software is, but because I'm kind of old school and the last server I dealt with didn't even have a proper UI. And seeing a budget or value NAS like 
like this one, delivering a complete and snappy experience, again, just blew my mind. You have an app store with media players, text editors, antivirus, encryption apps, a browser, and even BitTorrent to download all your apps directly to the NAS. And you can also link your NAS to other cloud-based storages like Google Drive. And it's actually great. You can upload and download things from your cloud server with a couple of clicks, which is great, being also able to configure automatic synchronization and backups with all your computers and mobile devices. And speaking of mobile devices, the app is also very nice and very user-friendly. And you can also use NFC to kind of log in, to kind of download the app if you don't really have the app, or just log in if you want to. For example, I already have the app, the app. as soon as I go here, as you can see, it went immediately to the app. Again, just for you to see, and we're back in the app. As soon as you log in, you have the main apps in the main menu, system data like temperature, CPU and memory usage, fan speed, and uploading or downloading files is a fairly easy process that even a child could do with a couple of clicks. And one of the things that I actually enjoyed a lot and didn't test when I made the first script for this video was the album assistant. We have a built-in AI smart recognition and classification function. And yeah, of course, I know we're all tired of hearing AI here, AI there, but this is actually a good feature that I can see most people using. We basically have an AI model that can identify different people in your photos and divide your albums per person or place, which is one of the features that I enjoy the most when looking for older photos to remember the good old times. And according to Ugreen, the model works locally on your NAS, so you don't really need any kind of internet and it won't upload any of your personal data which is a big plus nowadays. As for my personal experience, the DH4300 Plus has been a massive improvement to my workflow as I work with several computers at the same time for several kinds of testing purposes. And being able to download and upload files at ease, just like whatever I want without having to go to see if the cloud storage is, is full or not, just massively improved my productivity. It's special since I work with lots of computers, mobile devices and many things at the same time. So yeah, having this NAS is, is and was a massive improvement to my workflow, thank God. And I can also watch the videos that I recorded on the fly from any of my computers or smartphones. I even connected it to my studio's TV, making it work as a full media hub where I can watch my animes, my films, my movies, whatever you want to call them. Generally, it is just an awesome experience. Although it isn't really like using a mini PC if you're connected via HDMI, but you can use it like a mini stream box. All you have to do is use your, uh, your mobile phone app and through the mobile phone app, you can just go and stream directly from the HDMI with a Ugreen app. For example, as soon as I want to watch my animes, there is this symbol here, here in the top, and it will show you the, um, the, the HDMI reproduction here, and all you have to do is just click on it, and as you can see, it will be streaming right to my TV. Now I just pick HDMI 4, and here it is. And you also have the controls here, by the way. Now, should you buy the Ugreen NAS DH4300 Plus? Well, that's only a thing that you know, because only you know what you need. But like I told you in the beginning of the video, I thought that I would never need a NAS, and as soon as I started using one, I mean, my workflow just improved massively. I'm not going to lie to you, it just improved massively. I don't really care more about cloud storage. I just put everything on the NAS, my backups, my, my files, my photos, everything there, and I can access them easily. I mean, easily, very easily through any of my computers in a local network. And if I want to access my files when I'm not at home, I can just do it via the Ugreen's link. I can just go to my phone, for example, use the normal internet, and it will allow me to access this same NAS in my home, which is great. For example, a couple of weeks ago, I went to my mother's house and I wanted to show her the, the photos that I had from my brother's childhood. And I have all those files in the NAS and all I had to do was go into my smartphone and show her the pictures. And with the face recognition, it was even easier. I just went there, I just picked my brother's photos and I had those photos all there like really just in one package and it was very very nice for example my uncles were also there so i could show them photos that i had from them like 10 years ago 
with a simple click because again, face recognition. And that was really interesting feature that Ugreen has and it works very well, by the way, very well. So my opinion, and again, it's only my opinion, Yes, I would buy the, now that I know it, now that I used it, I would definitely buy the Ugreen NAS DH4300 Plus. And I would do it because you can store everything that you want here. You can use hard drives, you can use solid state drives, SSDs. You can just connect it to your monitor or to your TV and just use it as a media player. You can do whatever you want there. And on top of that, you have all the files that you need through your home server on your home network or on the internet due to Ugreen's link. So you can access you can access it all the time, whatever you want, and it will work. For me, definitely, definitely a great experience. And for my workflow, since again, I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around seven, eight computers. And instead of going to the cloud storage, log in here, log in there, then permission here, permission there, I can just install the, um, the, the NAS app or even access it through my browser and it will deliver just a much better workflow and everything will work perfectly because I have everything that I need there. Yeah, big yes for me, definitely. And to finish the video, I just want to thank you, Green, for sending the NAS and for sending the Iron Wolf HDDs. And again, just because you, Green, sent me this and they asked me to do a review, it doesn't impact my view on the product in any way. If I think the product sucks, I will say that the product sucks. If I think that the product is actually good, which is the case, of course, I will tell you that the product is good. I'll just do my unbiased review as always. But still, thank you, you Green. And thank you all guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about Ugreen NAS. If you have a NAS from Ugreen, if you have this exact same model, if you love value NAS, if you are going for the more top tier NAS, just let me know because in my experience, damn, this, this is just great. For the price it costs, it is just great. Thank you very much once again and see you in the next video. Cheers.